Good evening and can you believe it? We are back and it's 2022. And um, if I mean, if I look at the charts and I'm working for a couple of days already and I'm busy working through all the charts and especially over the weekend, I went through quite a lot of them. And um, of course, uh, we are flooded with emails. I did not tweet this week. I did not put on any platform because during the Christmas period and especially from about the first week in January, I had quite a few requests where people say, Franz, uh, your first talking technical show, can you maybe just discuss my share? So from uh, next week on, I will tweet again for requests so that you can send through. But I just want to see if I can work through all the requests that I did receive. And the first one that we would like to speak about is the old favorite Capitec. And um, Greg asked about Capitec and he, he says to me, Franz, is there a possibility that I must maybe lock in some profit? Now, I just want to say to all the viewers tonight, uh, just keep in mind that we're living in a fantasy world on the stock exchange. All markets around the world are really strong and everybody believe that shares cannot drop. Um, in actual fact, I did training the other day and the lady came to visit me and she was quite convinced that nothing can drop. In actual fact, she was only looking at buying opportunities. And this is exactly what happens. Let's first have a look at Capitec. Now, if we look at, um, you know, buying opportunities, just see what is happening. Um, you get an overhang resistance like we've seen here. I just want to show you here. And this is almost typical of all these shares and markets nowadays. If you look at it, there was an inverse head and shoulder of Capitec. I mean, the target was around 2,071 and 86. And what happened? It shot through and it went to 2,200. And, and this is exactly what you see in a bull market. And in actual fact, we are in like we call a super bull market because everybody just believes that nothing can go wrong and you must just buy shares and you need to retire in a few years from there. So let's have a look at Capitec. Now, Greg, if we look at this line, and that is the support line of this trend line, and, and while this line was on your way to the up and the shares traded above that, the momentum was clearly to the top. And what do I mean about that? There's the trend line, and look at all the action was above this line, and that is bullish. But what did we see the other day? And that is your question. Can you maybe lock in some profit? Now, remember, my job is never to tell you if you need to lock in profit or not. My job is to tell you what I see on the charts. And this is what I do a lot. I do training and I show people how to interpret charts. And there's different techniques. And the one of the techniques is just looking at your simple candle. And that candle, what we see here, is what we call a bearish engulfing candle. That means that the bears or the sellers dominated that previous session. But what was interesting, look at the size of this candle. In actual fact, it did not just um, um, dominate that day. It dominated even that day and, day and that day. Four days in a row, the movement, it wiped out in one single day. And now, Greg, my big thing here is, and I see that the share already is moving below my support line. And there's my support line. Just have a look here. There's my support line. And that line is sitting at 2,121 cents. Below that, the momentum of the share can go down. And I don't even want to say to you where it can go down. So if you are a trader, I will say I will act on this bearish engulfing candle. If it breaks this line of 2,121, I will lock in my profit because where's my targets? Let I just show you the support. There's one support, 2,056. 2,000, of course, is a support. Um, there's another one, 1,990, 1,978, 92. This share's got plenty movement to the downside if it really has come under pressure. And just look at it. The share is trading at the price to earnings ratio of 31, where our market is trading more or less at the 14, 13 level now. I mean, this share is doubled as, as expensive. And it doesn't say that the share must come back. It just tells you that everybody believes that the management cannot foot a foot wrong and everything is just wonderful. Let's have a look at the other favorite and remember this was <laughs> a dark of the market share a while back and we call it a Sassel. Now Sassel I mean is one of those shares that almost went bankrupt but look at this chart. I mean and who's asking? Oh Norman is asking about Norman. 
This chart looks fantastic. And I mean, I don't even want to show to you where it comes from. But of course, you want to know if you can buy it. Now, I, I personally believe that the share has just broken up. There you are. It broke above this line. And where it is? Above 2,974 rand. The share can go up. And what do we see here? Look at these strong bullish candles. That is all optimistic candles. And I just want to see, just add a formula area in here. And I just, let's have a look here. Let's go to a stochastic. Everybody knows over the years, I like stochastic. It's a, it is not a difficult um, 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 indicator to teach yourself. And I just want to get that. There you are. But look at this. Norman, we are in overboard territory. And what happened every time that we were in this overboard zone? Okay. Still going up. What did we see here? In December, it came down. And even last year in October, it came down. So just be a little bit careful. Yes, if you want to buy it, I know everybody believes that nothing can go wrong. I will say buy it above the support line, but I will make use of a tight stop loss of 288.29 cents. Let's have a look at British American tobacco. I know just before we finished all our writings, I said to my guys, and I wrote about it, I said, listen, we must buy British American tobacco. And I, I got many readers that came out and said, Franz, thank you so much. The share actually performed very well. And what did we see then? I mean, remember, this is a weekly chart. And um, I just want to get the name of the person that asked about the share. Um, oh, Fred. Fred asked about the share. Now, Fred, what did we see here is, is purely we see a descending channel. A descending channel usually triggers a beautiful buying opportunity. And at that specific point in time, I said to myself, and that was around December, around this level that I called the share, I said to myself, well, the dividend is sitting at an eight. And I mean, this company is cash flush. And um, as an old fundamental friend of mine, and actually actually told me one day, he said, Franz, you can always buy British American tobacco. Remember every day a new... A uh, thousand or two thousand Chinese chaps, they starting to smoke. <laughs> so maybe that's not too wrong. But look at this movement. And it rallied all the way from 534. It's sitting now at 659. But now I want to say something to you, Fred. I think you're too late now to get in. And I don't want to discourage you. But I mean, if I see a lamp pole formation like this, I'm always worried about the share. So for me personally, I think you've missed the opportunity. I will definitely wait for the share to pull back. Let's just have a look at a 40-week uh, moving average and see where is that moving average because I've got an idea that that moving average is going to tell us that the share just rallied way too far above that moving average because a moving average, remember, always act like almost a... a I couldn't say a magnet, it pulls it back. But look at it. Well, I mean, there you are. Now I can remember when I called the share, it was on the brink of crossing this moving average. There you are. We had to cross beautiful classic technical uh, chart to tell you that the momentum is going to turn to the upside. And look at it. It's way above it. So Fred, for me personally, I don't even want to say to you that you must get in. I will wait for the share to actually give us a proper pullback before I will enter. But remember, this is a company but maybe I think you are too late. Let's have a look at Orion Mining and let's have a look I know the commodities are flying and <clears throat> this is a, a junior miner a tiny company which is starting to develop a mine there in the Prisca area not far from us and what do we see here we see that the share was hammered I mean for the last couple of months and I mean, it came all the way from 48 cents as low as 28 cents and the 40 week moving average. And remember, oops, this is a daily chart. I just want to change it in a weekly. Sorry, guys. There you are. There you are. Okay. Uh, there's the weekly chart. There's your 40 week moving average. It is just on the brink of crossing that. Let's just show you this. Let's just draw in a line there. There you are. And that is, Victoria is asking about Orion Mining. And remember, they're going to mine two components. The one is, I think, copper. And um, I think also a little bit of zinc, mostly copper. 
So if you look at it, it's on the brink of breaking up and there's your 40 week moving average. I would like to show you something else that I picked up the other day. And that is, look at this. I picked up that there was a little bit of a spike in volume. Now, for me personally, I always say that volume tells me something. And look at this spike in volume. That volume tells me that somebody was keen to buy the share. Some people was also keen to sell the share. So a lot of hands turned shares there. And the big thing now, I think, big level here is 34 cents. If 34 cents can turn into the support, I've got the 40-week moving average to turn into a support. It's on this resistance line of 34. And I've got the spike in volume. And then that will mean above 34 cents, all the guys that bought shares in the last week, let's maybe from 28 cents to, let's call it 33 cents, will be happy. But of course, we know by now, that if the share starts to drop below 27 cents, they will get nervous. So for me, if you want to buy Victoria, buy above 34 cents, make use of a stop loss of 27 cents. Remember, this mine is not yet in full production. I checked it the other day. It is only in the second phase of exploration. So yes, it can maybe take a year before they start to mine. What I like about the company, the mother company of the share is sitting in Australia. And that tells you there's a lot of money behind it and a lot of expertise because the Australians also, as the South Africans, know to mine. So I like the share. Of course, it's your choice. Stick to your stop loss. And we will see again what this share is doing in a couple of months. Well, visit our website www.fransdeclare.com for more info and please send through your requests. And we, as always, we'll see if we can cover that.